Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making two very delicious and easy uh, desserts that you can make for Valentine's Day. And you can either make these ahead of time or with your loved one on Valentine's Day. So what you need for the actual pie is a sleeve of crackers, 12 ounces of silken tofu, about half a cup of chocolate chips, four teaspoons of melted vegan butter, and one fourth cup of agave. All right, so let's get started and make the chocolate cream pie. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the sleeve of graham crackers and we're gonna put them in there and process them for a little bit until it gets all broken down kind of like sand. Once it gets to that consistency, we're slowly going to add the vegan melted butter. And once that's all in there, we're going to grab our pie dish and pack in all of the graham cracker crust that we created into the dish and make it all even. Once it's all packed in there and we have an even crust, we're going to set this aside by putting it in the fridge for about an hour and make sure you cover this up. While the crust is resting, we're going to get started on the chocolate part of the chocolate cream pie. We're going to take the following ingredients and put it in a blender. We're going to take the silken tofu, the agave, and we're going to take the chocolate chips. But before you add the chocolate chips, make sure that you melt them. Once all of those ingredients are in, we can start blending. And this will create the chocolate part of the chocolate cream pie. Once everything is blended together, we're going to take our pie crust and put the filling in there. And evenly blend it in the pie dish. Now we're going to let this rest again in the fridge for about 12 hours. So after the 12 hours have passed, we're going to get started on finishing up our pie. Along with our pie that's going to rest there for 12 hours, you should also put one can of coconut milk in the fridge and let it sit there. This is going to be our whipping cream for the top of our pie. So we're going to grab our unopened can of coconut milk, do not shake it, and get it out of the fridge and open it. So we're going to grab only the solid from the coconut milk and put it in a bowl. And then we're going to whip it with our hand mixer. It looks kind of rough, but it will all come together in a little bit. Once it gets softer, we're going to add one fourth cup of sugar just regular sugar and put it in there and keep mix we're gonna keep mixing our whipping cream until it is smooth once it's smooth you can plop all of this amazing whipping cream that we've just made on top of our well rested pie and put it on top and make it all pretty however you want I decided to decorate mine with some strawberries that I had on hand because chocolate and strawberries go really well together um, and I just decorated it. And that is all you need to make this very delicious and easy to make um, chocolate cream pie. Alright now for our second recipe is the churros. So we're going to need one cup of water and we're going to let that boil in a pan. Once it starts boiling, we're going to add two and a half tablespoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt and stir it until it dissolves. Once the sugar and salt are dissolved, we're going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil and shortly after to remove it from the heat. Then we're going to stir in two cups of flour until the mixture forms a ball.
So to get the shape that we want, we're going to pour the mixture into a piping bag and pipe out the shape that we want our churros to be in. Because this is a Valentine's Day um, themed dessert, we're going to pipe our churros into hearts, but you can definitely stick to the more traditional shape of churros. Once all of our churros are piped and our oil is heated, we're going to fry until golden and then we're going to drain on a paper towel. So to finish off the churros, we're going to combine half a cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And we're going to roll our churros in the sugar cinnamon mixture to finish them off. And there you have it, your heart-shaped churros for Valentine's Day.